Hi guys, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. This time I thought we'd have a look at Power of the Primes Autobot Tailgate. And uh, this is from actually wave two of the Power of the Primes figures. So um, this guy's pretty much straight up repaint of Wind Charger with a different head sculpt and whatnot. I'm not sure if the front is different, so I need to get him out. Gone from Toy Planet, um, guy on Facebook kind of works only had a bunch come in, so um, he popped it on one of the Facebook groups and uh, yeah, I bought off him. So uh, yeah, pretty decent. I you know, I haven't really seen him many other places. So uh, I thought we'd have a little look. Eight steps to transformation. Just says, uh, uh, drafts off other vehicles to reduce fuel used to near zero. So you've got that on here. So just get him opened up and we'll have a proper look at him. So the card that we get, let's have a look to see. So you can see he's paired up with uh, Quintus Prime. I make these hard to get into. Again, awesome artwork. And just says Quintus Tailgate, the seeds life on distant moons where bots can be free. Him out of here. So you've got his uh, instructions in there as well, and uh, just cut him out of this. Like so. That's all done, and then it should be it's just. Slip them out like so. So I move the packaging to the side and we'll have a look at him. Uh, so here he is in his robot mode. Articulation everything should be exactly the same as a uh, wind charger. Um, his legs are a little bit stiff just down here, but uh, that's not too bad actually. It's worse on one leg. So you've got silver paint on his legs. This is all painted, all his chest. Um, this kind of dark blue, I guess you call it, or, or kind of green. Silver paint all on here, with tampo paint used on here. The head is on this kind of section here, and it's, again, all painted white, silver, and blue in there. A lot of paint on him, actually. The side bits here are all painted white here as well. Um... This bit isn't painted, you've got an Autobot symbol on the front here. Yeah, standard articulation as on the other one. Arms move out here, legs go up to here, out to there, and you get a decent bend in the knee up to there as well. And these stands up pretty decent. Oops. Down a second. Yeah, so no surprises there. A uh, nice little bot symbol on here as well. I will just bring in a wind charger just to take a, a look at them side by side just to see what differences there are. And uh, the other thing I forgot to mention on him as well is um, you've got this paint down here as well. So looking at them side by side, uh, the mould seems exactly the same, it's just the paint details, apart from the head is different here as well. But uh, they've kind of done a good job, I think, of just making the different. Obviously the toys originally, they're exactly the same. Um, it's, you know, you just have the different head sculpts, um, two different paint cut schemes as well. And to get them transformed, it's going to be exactly the same. Uh, obviously, you have a space as well to put in your Prime Master or, or Titan Master as well. So, uh, if I can remember the transformation. Uh, yeah, I think these bits come forward and there's little pegs in here for these sections in here that's going to 
Well, you can fold that around here if you don't want their head showing. Fold together here, then this section's gonna just drop over there like that. That's your space in there to pop in your little uh, tight mask or head master. So I've got my little mat tracker dude here. So you can get a hold of him here. And you can pop him in there and he sits in there absolutely fine. And all you do then is peg these bits together like so. And this bit is going to fold over here. Like that. I can just line it up properly. Oh, I've managed to pop that out. Let's see if we can just get that bit back on. That does look as if it's it does look as if a bit of it that's snapped off actually. Or at least the pegs either side have come off. So that's uh, that's more than annoying. Um, let's see if we can peg this in. I may need to just pull I can't pull the sections out here that's um, slightly frustrating so uh, yeah it's just, it's as if I've got a small little defect on mine so let's see if we can kind of sort this out anyway or just get him transformed best as we can Looks like there's a hook on the other side here for that. We're just going to have to try and pull this up a second. We can just, just pull these bits up here just to just slot that over there. So I've still managed to transform it okay, even with that kind of slight breakage on there. And it does, it is a cool looking vehicle mode. It's not obviously kind of um, comic accurate, but it is accurate to the toy. It does roll quite nice. And you've got uh, these bits here, which are done kind of like in a um, translucent plastic, but it's, um, I forget, you've just got like a, it's slightly see-through um, colour to it, so it's like, like a darker shade on here. Silver paint on here as well. Uh, no paint on the wheels, unfortunately, and uh, you got silver which shows through from there as well. So I'll just try and get him transformed back and just have a look at his legs. So we just take this bit out here, and I just want to take a, another look at uh, where I think that bit's kind of broken off, just to have another little look at it just to see if that's going to present much of a problem going forward or not. If it does, I'll, I'll be a little bit annoyed about that, but... Uh, that bit pegs into there at the back. Swivel this round like so, and peg this from here. Uh, trying to think, remember which one it was. Oh, it does seem to have pegged back in okay. Um, it looked like the where it kind of clipped back on like there wasn't really much for it to clip into but it, it seems to have seemed to have clipped back in without any issues at all. So uh, yeah I'm not too worried about that now but uh, yeah it was a little bit unless this is where it doesn't fold back. Is that the one that I had the issue with? I think that's the one I had the issue with. That one there. But uh, it seems to be okay now, so I'm a bit more relieved about that one. But uh, there you go, there's a tailgate. Uh, in terms of recommendations, it all depends on what version you like, um, really. Um, obviously, you've got the IDW version, this one's more of a 
kind of toy accurate one so it really just depends which one you're after but uh, it is a cool little toy and uh, yeah I think uh, it's worth getting if you do come across him thanks for watching guys and see you all soon bye bye for now